Scorpio. Amy Energy here with your year-end reading. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel and let's get right into it. We're going to pull a card for 2023, a card for 2024, and then we will get into a nine card spread and expand upon these messages. All right, so let's see 2023 for my Scorpios. We have miracles. Wow. So this was a magical year for my Scorpios this year of 2023. We have learned to believe in miracles is truly the message I'm getting off of this card. So some of you might be saying, I didn't experience any miracles. And some of you are saying, yes, I learned that I am a miracle. Yes. And what you are moving into in 2024 is patience. So this is really a beautiful energy. I know sometimes we don't like to see patience. Um, you know, patience can be difficult for some of us, or maybe that's just me. Um, well, I know it's not just me, but maybe, maybe some of my Scorpios, you love to be patient. But regardless of how you feel about the word patience in general, I really feel like this is an extremely positive card. I feel like this year has set you up to be exactly where you need to be able to, you know, handle the, the delays because you believe, you believe in miracles and you believe that something's going to happen, even if it takes a little extra time, right? It's just like slow cooking a pot roast. If you want it to be full, fall apart fork tender, you're not going to take it out too soon. And whatever you are manifesting, whatever miracles coming in for you this year, I feel the beginning of the year, we're going to have to have a little patience with it. So let's get into this reading, Scorpio. First card, we have the Six of Wands. Look at you, knowing yourself, being yourself. You could have gotten a promotion this year. I see you showing up here very honorable, very capable, very much in charge of your life, where you're going, who you are. This could be a victory in just knowing who you are, in learning a lesson about your particular gifts and special skills. And this is beautiful. This is setting you up for a beautiful year. Right, you're doing that sacred work here. And I do feel like this is a lot of work in your mind, right? Thinking about situations differently, thinking about our emotional reactions or our lack of emotional reactions. We're learning how precious every little bit of our energy is here. And look at that Empress coming out. You're very creative here, Scorpio, and you could be really thinking about what do I want to do with all this creativity, with all this love that I have for the world? What do I want to do with it? That could be what's on your mind right now as you're watching this reading. And we have the Ace of Cups coming out. So I see you opening up to really receive love like never before. There is people who want to celebrate you. There is a whole world of opportunity for you. And we have the King of Cups coming out. So that's showing me that you do have a spiritual mentor or guide or you are that person for other people. Or there is just someone here who is, whether even they might not call themselves a spiritual mentor, but you look up to this person. They've opened doors for you. And like I said, this could even be yourself because you, with a full and overflowing cup, are going to be able to really create a lot this year. Create whatever it is that you desire. Okay, let's expand further. Card number four, the moon. So there was a lot this year, Scorpio, that was not clear, but you chose to believe in yourself. I love that miracles was your card for 2023 because I feel that you truly acknowledged your life as a miracle, your dreams. You truly believe that they can come true. You are believing in miracles and you are finding this balance in 2023 between 
you know, these two different, both of these cards can be quite idealistic. And they're both kind of going in the same direction here. But I feel like you did balance out this fire and water energy, your passions and your emotions. There was a big balance there. And I do feel like, you know, you could have been feeling quite flirty, quite romantic. Um, but I feel like you found a healthy outlet for all of the aspects of you to be expressed. And you're not sure how that's going to manifest in this next year, right? Because there's going to be a ripple effect from different actions that we have taken, different conversations that we've had. And we're not sure, but we're rolling the dice. We're excited to play the game of life. Okay, I really love this because I do feel like, you know, you look at life with a unique lens here with the King of Wands. And, you know, you're not really into the drama. I feel like you could be like, you know, I don't want to say you're judgmental, but I feel like you do have like a, a discernment when it comes to certain people who are involved in drama and different situations. I feel like you are just not one to get involved or maybe in the past you were, but you're seeing the truth of a situation of how much this brings you down when you do get involved. And um, I feel like you've always kind of known that, but maybe you just sometimes would go along just because. Um, but I feel like you're not anymore. You're going to speak what you think, what you really believe. All right, your center card here is the hanged man. Okay, so I do feel like, you know, you're thinking about doing something in a different way. Right, everyone does it one way, and I'm just thinking of that because I pulled out this Wheel of Fortune under the moon, which wouldn't have normally happened till the second row. But for whatever reason, I did it different today. So, or the third row. Either way, it's giving me this message, especially with these cards, the Ace of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords. It's like... You're thinking about, you know, skipping a step or doing something a different way. And let's pull our next card here. I feel like, you know, you are holding back your energy from a certain situation in your life, from the potential of a of passion, which is interesting. But you may want to make sure that you have a clear perception about what you want before you jump into anything. But I do see a tower here. 2024 is starting out with a tower for you, Scorpio. So that might be why we're having to have a little bit of patience. Because as much as we've tried to avoid this drama, it is kind of following us here. All right, and I do feel with this three of swords, there is a heartbreak and I'm not sure if you're the one receiving or giving it out or if it's mutual, but I do see other people involved and I kind of see you turning your back and moving in a different direction, moving towards your vision and people might be like, dang, that Scorpio is cold. They just cold blooded. They just walked right away. They don't even care, but, you know, what they don't realize is that you cared for too long. You cared for a long time. You were feeling lost for a while with this moon card, and I feel like you were not sure what you wanted to do, and so you did wait to make a decision, and you are still in this waiting space, I feel, as you're watching this. There is something here you do not want to go and let go of. But also there's something here that we're not able to be 100% honest about. And I do feel that that's what's going to be making us want to move. We're going to want to move forward from a situation because we may just be realizing that something isn't serving us because there is this very obsessive energy or there could be this... Um, this could be something that we're using to distract ourselves from a situation that is, you know, just kind of opening up the door to let in kind of some negative or more toxic energies into your life. And it could be inviting opportunities for us to be dishonest or withhold information. And I feel like 
that's not something that we want. We really don't want the chaos in our life. With the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles don't want chaos. The King of Pentacles wants things to be nice and easy. They want to get things taken care of. And I see a big part of you here, Scorpio, is like that. Like, you just want to kind of get your work done. This and that. You're not really wanting to create waves. But the tower is coming in and saying, okay, you don't want to create waves. But I do. <laughs> because this situation needs to change. So that Scorpio can go towards what they are truly passionate about. So you could have some uncontrollable passion here that does manifest into a tower moment because I see here wow yeah you being very romantic with rose colored glasses moving into a situation and I just keep seeing this five of wands not everyone's going to be happy about your decision here but you're making the best decision for you even if it does create a tower moment in your life you're like fine I'll burn it all down and I'll have the patience to rebuild it at brick by brick here Okay, so that is what I got for my Scorpios. I hope this reading resonated and I hope it helped. Let's get you one last card over this reading, Scorpio. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and comment. And make sure you check out the link in my bio if you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one session. I offer tarot and astrology readings over Google Meet. We have forgiveness brings freedom. So forgive yourself and forgive anyone else here it don't mean you have to hang out with them it don't mean they have to be around you but forgive them and set them free and set yourself free here scorpio and yeah i feel like you are starting off the year with a bang and um 2024 is gonna be a lot of rebuilding something but you're gonna be building it for you in the way that you've always dreamed of and this is going to I feel bring a lot of contentment and happiness it's you're going to enjoy this work so that's what I have for you Scorpio whatever moment you are in know it is a magical moment because you are there until we meet again I love you take care